family, soul family, Christina Marie here, um, going to explain what's been going on with my targeting in as much detail as possible. Um, don't know much about the brain, just have one. So <laughs> bear with me. Um, so what they do a lot, and um, if I had somebody like monitoring me and actually watching, um, they'd be able to see what is being done um, with a close eye. Um, I'm very petite, um, so I have thin skin. So they tend to use um, the back of my neck to send uh, pulses of their technology, um, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I'm having a hard time thinking. I'm getting hit in the head pretty hard. Um, so they send like pulses in the back of my neck that feels like it's literally going up a cord into my brain. Um, and you can actually see it because my skin is so thin. Um, <clears throat> and it's going, it's in a, the same spot each time they do it. Um, and it's very painful. Um, right now I can feel like it feels like static electricity all around my body and my body is being set on fire with it feels like electricity going through my body um very very painful um <coughs> but earlier they were sending it they almost feel like a little smaller than half an inch size um just pinpoint lasers going through the top part of my brain, the crown, um, and it actually causes, excuse me, you guys, you can hear my voice vibrating because they're hitting, um, the middle of my body. Pinpoint lasers going on the top of my crown, um, and it actually causes my brain to glitch, um, which is really scary, and it's only for, like, a split second. And, um, they were threatening me that they could make me, uh, drive off the road. Uh, and this just happened literally 15 minutes ago. Um, you can feel, like, the pulses through my body. It's causing my, my voice to vibrate. Um, I don't know if this is, would be considered my nervous system that they're attacking right now. Um, but it almost feels like a bubble of hot microwaved air. Um, very uncomfortable. <clears throat> Trying to remain calm, um, is the hardest part. Um, but my attacks are, uh, really severe. And I don't mean this uh, with ego, but any normal person um, would not be able to handle this. Um, there are uh, a lot of days that I just uh, pray out of fear to God. And it's days like this where I'm... As a TI, you don't know if you're going to make it. My attacks are so severe. It feels... Um, like they are literally tearing up my insides with uh, microwave radiation. It feels like a, like I said before, like this bubble of microwave air in my body. And it's like, how do you protect yourself from um, weapons like this. You, you just can't. All you can do is just pray. But anyways, you guys, uh, my attacks have definitely amplified. Um, <clears throat> and uh, all I can do is just keep going. That's it. I can't just fold and just lay there um, because it's not going to stop the attacks whatsoever. Um, I can only keep going, but I'm going to, I think, 
definitely document more of my targeting now that it's amplified um, and be more descriptive in detail um, just to um, keep everybody informed. My um, The ones doing this to me, I guess you would call them handlers, perps, <clears throat> have told me for quite some time they're going to make a poster child out of me. I guess, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to share my experience in descriptive detail as best as I can. Um, so hopefully I can assist other TIs um, on this journey. I love you guys. Stay strong. Don't give up.